Hello Pokemon fans, today we are going to be looking at some Charizard. Uh, as you can see in the background here we've got the new Charizard GX Premium Collection uh, where we get the awesome new uh, full art promo. We get the Charmander Hollow and the Charmeleon Hollow. This set comes with two Burning Shadows, uh, two Ganyans Rising and what I suspect are two Sun and Moon but you can't actually see them very well. Uh, so in this you also get a Charizard coin and a Charizard pin. So I'm not actually going to be opening this, uh, I'm a bit of a Charizard fanboy and I kind of want to keep it in its box. So instead what I thought I would do is actually just show you some of my Charizard cards and Charizard memorabilia. Uh, so enjoy the video. I thought we'd start with this uh, Mega Charizard. X, uh, which I picked up from the local toy store. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of the Mega Evolutions, although this is my favourite of the two, which I think for everybody is the same. Uh, I think it was a bit of a gimmick, you know, the, one of the biggest Pokemon in the game, um, in the whole franchise, make him a Mega Evolution, uh, try and sell on that. But as you can see in the background, people want the original. Um, so yeah. So obviously, I picked up the toy anyway, um, it's a bit dusty, <laughs> I haven't really looked after it very well. Uh, so that's the toy. Uh, the next thing I've got actually I found in charity shop, which is a little Nintendo Game Boy SP. Uh, you remember the advanced version where it used to fold in half? This is a case for that, um, which just basically opens up, you put your cartridges in. Um, and then your actual Game Boy would go in here um, and just to prove it's actually a Nintendo product there's the labels for you okay uh, I can't seem to find these anywhere to find the actual pricing there's few variations of this there's a larger one um, and there's one with a clip but not this exact one so I can't really give you a rough price of what it's actually worth um, but <laughs> I picked it up for a, a pound so a bit of a bonus there. Okay, so next we've got a couple of Charizard tins, uh, still sealed. Um, can't remember where I picked these up from. Um, probably the local Tesco's or something. Um, but again, kept them in the, the foils. Um, so yeah, they're just Charizard tins. Uh, next is a <laughs> Charizard amiibo. Um, I actually got the Mewtwo one first uh, from a local shop and I saw this online and I thought I just had to have it so that is now part of the collection so we'll get through those pretty quick because you probably want to see the cards more than anything so uh, we've got the Charizard EX box I actually have two of these uh, one was meant to be opened but I haven't actually opened it yet uh, and again we've got the promo and I also have the promo separately and we also have <laughs> the red and blue collection one um, these are around about 20 pounds to buy each and there's one of each of the three main starters and the Pikachu one these ones are very popular um, I think the price has dropped a little bit I think there's a bit of an overstock in some of the shops and you can actually pick this up for about 15 pounds now uh, a couple of online stores you can get them from so yeah, um, just quickly grab the cards, we've got a stack of cards, they're all Charizards, so if we go through them one by one, the first one is a Japanese Hollow Charizard, uh, this is an original, um, as you can tell by the back, um, I got this, this is quite a recent one, um, it's got a slight mark on it, um, but I picked it up pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, that's an original. Uh, then we got the Evolutions version. Again, I sort of I put the uh, Charizard back on there. But again, quite a good deal on that one. Uh, we've got the new Charizard GX, which is in the New Burning Shadow set. We've got a reverse Hollow Charizard from Evolutions, which is really nice. And again, quite hard to find some of these actually. People are saying that they find it harder to find this than the actual holo card. 
Now this is one of my favourites. This is the Japanese CD promo version of Charizard, uh, which is also used in the original artwork for the trading card game. Uh, what can I say about this? Uh, I found this online, pretty good price, um, really good condition, uh, one of my favourite cards actually from, from the whole set. Uh, another Charizard, this is the base set one again, uh, the same as the first card I showed you, uh, original, you can tell by the HP. And we got the new Evolutions version in Japanese. You can tell by the HP is 150 on this one. We got another Evolutions Hollow. Oh, it's not focusing very well on that one. Uh, what's going on there? Why is it not focus? Focus, focus, focus! <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Now we have a Korean version. So I got this one and this one together uh, from a Korean set so I have two of those again they're just the same as the normal hollow but they're just in Korean you can tell that they're Korean <laughs> well not that I speak Japanese but the, the wording is slightly different and the, the font is actually a little bit thinner on these and we've got a Japanese Blame Charizard, which is quite hard to get hold of these days, um, and this is an original. Really nice artwork on that one. Uh, we've got a Dark Charizard from Team Rocket set in Japanese. You might notice I quite like the Japanese versions of these cards. Uh, and we've got the Team Rocket version in English, and I also have the non holo and another holo version of this card in a completed Team Rocket folder, which will be in another video. I can't remember which set this is from, um, but it was a first edition and it was Charizard, so I had to buy it. I'm not really sure. If you know what it is, uh, what set it's from, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Um, as you can see, uh, the next one is Charizard which is a promo. I can't remember what the promo set is but uh, I also have the Entei from this promo set but it's a really nice reverse holo. Uh, I really like the artwork on this so I just had to have it. Again it's in Japanese. Uh, you'll see a bit of a theme. I quite like the Japanese style of writing in the cards. Uh, so not again no idea what set this was from. Um, I recognize the symbol in the bottom corner but I honestly can't think of the top of my head what it is. But again, really creative artwork on this one. Um, nice hollow effect to it. So just had to buy it, obviously. Uh, here we've got a first edition Charizard. Um, Japanese, no idea what the set is. Um, I got these with a few other um, Japanese cards. So I, oh, it's not focusing again. So this is all kind of like a hollow with a hollow border. It's a nice card. So something a bit more modern. Uh, Evolution's Half Art, Half Art Charizard EX. Uh, it's got this one quite recently actually. I didn't actually open it. Uh, I think I bought it. And then <laughs> we have the Korean version of the same card. As you can see by the, the writing is matches the same as the previous one. So if I can quickly find it, I probably can't. Where is it? No, uh, I'm struggling now. Nope. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Trust me, it is Korean. Okay, so then we've got another promo. This one's in Japanese. And then we also have the English version of the same promo. So there's the Japanese version and then the English version. Uh, I can't remember what this was from. Uh, I think this was it says 20th, so I'm guessing it's from the anniversary. Can't remember if this is the promo version. 
uh, I can't see promo on it. Uh, again, another Charo Nassar <laughs> Japanese EX. Um, again, not a big fan of the, the artwork on this. Uh, it was meant to actually, a bit of uh, trivia for you, is to replicate what this was, this design, um, and they modernized it. So as you can see, it's very similar in, in the, the way that he stood um, and breathing the fire. Um, and that was the, the, the design for this. But obviously they made it 3D and a bit more modern. Uh, we got another promo Charizard X. Again, I'm not a huge fan of this design. Um, but hey, it's Charizard. I had to have it. Uh, okay, this is probably one you've seen quite a lot. Uh, this is actually from the Red and Blue collection. Uh, this is the promo. Again, the artwork is not amazing. Uh, it's very common. You can buy it quite cheaply on eBay or wherever. Um, but it's quite nice. Still, still worth having. And uh, <laughs> this one is very different. Uh, and this is actually from the oh, what are they called? The Southern Islands? Yes, that was it. The Southern Islands. Now, this is a Mew card, but Charizard didn't have a card in this set, but Charizard is actually in the background here. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to get that. It's something different. It's still got a Charizard in it, uh, which is pretty cool. And what I'll tell you what is different about this card to the Japanese version is in the Japanese version, they've actually cropped off Charizard, and you can only just see the tip of his wing. Um, so, like, maybe this much of his wing in the Japanese version. So, the English version is obviously much better. Okay, so, one last card to show you. Which is in this. Which is the original folder uh, from Pokemon. And it is the original basic card in English. So this is a complete folder, um, I'll go through this in another video. But yeah, it's in quite good condition, I'd say it's probably had some light play on it. Um, I bought it really cheaply on eBay a few years ago, um, but yeah. So as you can see, <coughs> with this artwork here, this is actually the CD promo artwork. So if I can quickly find it in this <laughs> stack of cards, there we go. So that's the actual artwork, um, but obviously they've flipped it for this design, um, but it's exactly the same. And if you haven't already noticed, there is a Charizard on the map there. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit obsessed with Charizard. But again, the Charizard GX Premium Collection is an awesome set. Uh, thank you guys for watching, uh, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.